If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you can be alerted each and every time we make a new video. Hi everybody, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Villages and I'm making this promo today uh, because you've probably been wondering, where are all the videos that Ira usually puts out on the YouTube channel? We haven't seen many from Ira lately. Well, it's not because I haven't been making any, I've been making plenty, but I've been making them of homes that people are wanting to buy and ask me to go out and video. So I really haven't got into um, doing the whole intro um, setup with these videos that I've been making because basically, Homes have been going so fast. In the past, I used to go ahead and set the camera up, used to go ahead and do my introduction, and then I would do um, a little thing afterwards. Well, I know in today's market that by the time I make this video, by the time I put it on YouTube and send it to the person who asked me to make the video, that home, either that person is going to make an offer and we're going to write a contract on that home, and then that home is going to be gone. <clears throat> so, in the past, I used to do the whole thing because homes would be on the market for, you know, quite an extended period of time. Not so today, you know, so two, three, four days is probably tops of what a home is going to be on the market. So I was thinking these, these videos that I'm making that you're gonna see today are of homes that aren't even gonna be for sale, so why even go through the whole uh, process of doing the intro and what we call the outro at the end because that home is just not gonna be for sale. Usually what we did was the person who asked me to go do the video, if they didn't go ahead and make an offer on it, we would put it right there on the channel for everybody else to see and then call me and possibly make an offer on it. But that's not how the process has been working lately, um, at least for the past year anyways. So like I said, I just went out there, did a quick video, just not even me being in the camera. And so, in retrospect, I started thinking, wait a minute, these are homes that even though they're not on the market, that you, my viewing audience, might be interested in seeing anyway, so you know what these homes look like, and you get an idea of the different homes in the different communities, because most of these um, that you're gonna be seeing, and I'm gonna use this same promo here, this same introduction for all of these different videos that I've made on all these different homes in different communities, mostly in On Top of the World. There are some that are in Indigo East. I've been making some in Oak Run. So that's when I started thinking, why not go ahead and just put these out there on the channel so you can see what homes look like in these different communities. So that's why I'm making this introduction for this video that you're about to see of this home. So I wanna thank you so much for tuning in and for your interest and in wondering what the home looks like and watching this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey Mike, it's Ira, and we are over here on Del Rio. Gonna go ahead and take a video of this home for you. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We will check out the outside of it. Now this is called a Corpus Christi. However, it is the older version of a Corpus Christi. So it is definitely a two bedroom, all right? It's not the... Um, it's not the, the more modern Corpus Christi where it's two bedrooms and a den. All right, so there's what the uh, roof looks like. A uh, little age on that roof. I mean, if this was my listing, I probably would have had somebody come over and um, 
pressure wash that roof. But it is what it is. So it does look like it has some age to it. However, it might just be this tree that sits in front of this house. It's a big, huge tree. So let's walk around the outside of it first. You have some gutters, a screen over the garage. There's your stamped concrete. It's what the grass, it's a little dry. Might have some issues with the sprinkler system, I would imagine. So you asked if there was power lines in the back. No, uh, it's a unique situation. I'll explain that in just a second. Uh, there's your air conditioner, 2013. All right, so there's a big, huge area back here that's owned by multiple people. It's kind of landlocked, actually. The villages just built all around this property and landlocked all the property. But it's just, there's no, there's no power lines or anything like that back here. It's just open land. There is a development over there. And I think that might be Spring Arbor, which Spring Arbor was a, um, an employee neighborhood of the villages years back, many years back. So when I first started the villages in 2000, they were developing that area, if that is Spring Arbor. Okay, so you do, it looks like a Florida room is here and your lanai is over here. You do have a little patio slab. And we'll keep going around the outside. Hello. This is what the neighborhood looks like. So Rio Del Rio is a cul-de-sac. You can see that car kind of going around the cul-de-sac. So it's not like there's gonna be a lot of traffic up and down this road. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. Little front porch area. This is kind of like the Amarillo, but it's a two bedroom version of the Amarillo. Let's see what we got here. So that car that just passed was another realtor that was looking at this house. By the way, so I imagine they've had a lot of people looking today. All right, so let's go ahead and head on inside. Let me turn the lights on first and I'll be back. All right, let's go ahead and go on in. We have uh, some laminate flooring throughout much of the home. Eight foot flat ceilings. Now that area right there, I'll explain a little bit today. That wall's completely gone, and there's a counter with cabinets underneath it. But and when they built this home years ago, and I believe this is a 92, um, this is what they did. They actually put a, a wall, and really, this used to be, at one point in this home, was solid. So somebody, whether it's these homeowners or maybe, maybe previous homeowners, opened that up. But um, there's a lot of people who would completely take that wall out, put that counter space with the cabinet under there and cantilever this whole 
um, counter area all the way around. So this is what the kitchen looks like. Laminate countertops, laminate cabinets. Looks like they started to replace some of the appliances, the microwave and the dishwasher with the black stainless steel, uh, but never got over to um, replacing the refrigerator and the range and oven. All right, so here's the Florida room like we pointed out outside. So this can serve as an office or den. Out here is an enclosed lanai. They enclosed it with vinyl. So that's a plastic. No R value, no insulation value at all in it. It's just to keep the rain out of, the, out of this area. Okay, they have indoor outdoor carpet. Here's what the view looks like. I mean, they have this awning thing. I would get rid of that, but it faces west in the back. So the sun will come down this, this direction and then that awning is made to um, hinder some of the sunlight coming in. Uh, okay, so insulated glass, which is nice, double pane insulated. You will arrive at your So this area is the guest area. It is only a two bedroom, but again, we have the Florida room. Um, this is what the closet looks like. It is a walk-in closet, actually. These two bedrooms have extra space, so there is room for a closet, a walk-in closet. Laminate flooring continued in here. This is your guest bathroom. You have tile, uh, a pink counter. I would imagine it, that they've replaced that counter space at some point. That was probably pink as well originally. Tub shower combination. Okay. And then like I said, it's a split floor plan. So the master bedroom is over here. On this side, this is your laundry room. Leading out to the garage. So your air handler is in here. Pretty quiet. This is your garage. Water heater, utility sink, pull down stairs to the full two car garage. Again, there's your screen over the front entrance of the garage. The water heater looks like it's been replaced recently. You have these steel braided lines, so it looks like it's been replaced recently. Some storage. So this is how it would it would feel as you're coming in because usually everybody comes in through the garage when they come home. Master bedroom. So they have, let's back up a little bit. There's tile. Some of the tiles cracked.
goes into the kitchen, into the laundry room, and then they replace the carpet with this laminate flooring, and this is what the master bedroom looks like. All right, with some wallpaper border. Speakers in the ceiling because at one point this um, this home probably had a uh, stereo system in it. We'll look at look for that in just a second. Tile in the master bath, corner shower. Exposed toilet, linen closet, single sink, and um, this is a big walk in closet here. Okay. So that is your video tour of this home. There's that stereo system we were talking about. This is uh, one last look as we leave and turn out all the lights. And there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video tour for you. Christian waiting to take the camera and process this for you. I did shut the garage door, I hope. Looks like it, yeah. It's a red, red garage door. Okay. So well, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour of uh, the home and call us, let us know what you think. All right, so what'd you think? Was this helpful for you, even though uh, it's not on the market? Did it help just being able to see what these homes look like and give you an idea of what uh, homes in these different communities look like. Hopefully you see the value in that and you'll want to go ahead and see the others that we're going to post on our um, YouTube channel. And again, this is what I've been doing. These are the videos I've been making. Uh, while I haven't been here in the office making many videos, I have been out in the field making a ton of videos of these different homes. We're not gonna put them all out on the channel right away. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of spread them out, you know, and probably every two or three days, we'll go ahead and put another one out there for you to take a look at. So, let me know what you think. We'd love to have your comments, your feedback, and uh, if I can make one of these videos for you, let me know, this is what I do. So not only were you able to see the home in particular that we just showed you, but it also shows you what I can do for you as well. So if I can be of any assistance, go ahead and give us a call, 
204-9026. That's our office number. You will most likely get Blakely, my assistant, who a lot of you have already talked to, and uh, you might possibly get me as well. But usually I'm out in the field, either making videos or working with people, and that's why I'm suggesting your first call be to Blakely. Now, if it's after hours, if it's on the weekend, go ahead and give me a call. My cell phone number is 352-454-9561. So if you're calling after hours or if you're calling on the weekend and I don't happen to answer, just leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Again, I hope it was helpful to you and look forward to seeing you in our next video.